So actions class is mainly used to do keyboard and mouse actions. Keyboard and mouse actions. If you want to perform from keyboard, you want to send a keys to your web page that you can do with the actions class. And also mouse actions, some mouse related actions if you want to perform, you can do with the, this actions class methods you can use. So that's uh, all about uh, the actions class. And let's see one by one uh, actions class, how it is going to help us. Actions class is a, uh, so just to know, uh, it is available in the interactions package, org dot, so Selenium package, then interactions sub package is there. There you can find that. So let me show you actions class. So actions class is available in the org.opencare.selenium.interactions package. And uh, so mainly used for handling the mouse and keyboard actions. We have first method, click method. The click method is this will click at the current mouse location and uh, click web element on element. So click in the middle of the given element and click and hold next method. So this will click at the current mouse location without release. It won't release, but it will perform the click and holds it. That's a click and hold method without uh, any parameter. So there is a click and hold without, you know, with parameter. So clicks without releasing in the given element. So here, wherever the mouse is there, there it will uh, hold. But the other one where you are giving element, it will, you know, click and hold on that element. That's the click and hold means. So the other one is context click. Context click is basically perform the right click operation where the mouse is there. On that mouse location, you can perform the right click operation. So context click, web element element. So this will right click on the element. So like, like this. See, this is the right click operation, right? So the right click operation is done by context click. So automatically it will do. If you give automatically, it will perform the right click operation. And uh, double click. So double click method, it will perform the double click operation at the current mouse location. So double click web element element. It will perform the double click at the given element. So that's a double click means here and here. So double click basically so double click operation purpose. One is mouse, another one is at the given element. And drag and drop. So drag and drop is mainly used to move the source element to the target element. That's a drag and drop. There's a convenient method to do a drag and drop you know, where the mouse is there. That's the drag and drop means. Then drag and drop by, drag and drop by method. Next method is drag and drop by method. So web element source, and you can give X coordinate and Y coordinate. So, and then it will move the source to given X and Y coordinates. To given X and Y coordinates, it will move. Okay, so then we have 
key down key down methods see all are overloaded methods so are you observing all are overloaded key down keys dot key name it will press the specified key key down web element element key start key name it will press the this key on this element so this is the one one parameter here two parameters so it's a method overloading or not so it will it won't release basically it will press and you have to call to release key up method so which key you press it you want to release then call key up method then call key up method key up key start key name key up web element element comma key start key name that's the key up method so move by offset method move by offset method is So key up is mainly used for releasing the key. Whatever the key you press it here, you can release that key with the key up. Key up, a modifier key release. So key up web element element. So if you use this key down, you have to use this key up to release that key on that element. That's a key down if used. Key up is mandatory. So then we have a move by offset. So move by offset method into x coordinate into y coordinate. So moves the mouse from its current position by the given offset, right? So we can move the cursor to given x and y coordinates from the current position. That's a move by offset method. So move to element method. So you can move the mouse to the given element middle. So middle of the element, you can move. move. And uh, move to element, web element to element, into x coordinate, into y coordinate. So moves the mouse to an offset from the top left corner to the element. That's a move to element method. Basically, you can handle this uh, move to element uh, menus. Menus you can handle with this move to element method using move to element. Basically, there are menus you have to just you know you see this. There are many menus will be there. So if you mouse over, the menu will open to you. These are all menus. They are still loading. Let it load. So it's not showing. Generally used to show, but here some other will go. Amazing. Otherwise. See, when you mouse over, it will show all these options. So that's the only mouse over, you cannot click them. So, in such cases, you can use this uh, move to element method. So the, after all uh, these methods, you have to call perform method. To finish the action perfectly, you have to call perform method. So there is a release method. Uh, when you call click and hold, so click and hold if you call, you need to call release method. So otherwise it won't release that. That, that purpose you can use this release method. So release web element, click and hold, so opposite is to release, you will use this release method. Then there is a send keys method. You can send the sequence of characters or sequence of strings with a send keys method. You can send the keys from the keyboard also with the send keys. Till now we are uh, just you know, uh, sending the string, right? But for with the send keys, you can send the keyboard keys like a control key, shift key, tab key, caps lock, or enter key, 
or pays down, pays up, and uh, any key, if you want, send, you need to use a send keys method. If you want to send any key, you can use a send keys method. But how to use all these methods? First, create an object for actions class, actions act equal to new actions of, so the web driver, a driver you have to pass, the driver reference variable you have to pass. So that reference variable you pass to action. Basically it's a constructor, right? Parameterized constructor you are calling there. So how to call the methods of a actions class? The reference variable dot method name dot perform method is mandatory. Each method after you have to call perform method. So at the end, so all the actions you call, then at the end you call perform method. So then it will uh, finish the action perfectly. So if you are performing multiple actions on the same element, then call build method. So build method, what it did, generates the composite action. So containing all actions so far, so ready to be performed. You want to perform all the actions at a time, then you can use a build method. So create an object for actions class, like actions, act equal to new actions of driver. So you can call like this, act dot method one, dot method two, dot method three, dot method four, dot build. That means multiple actions class methods you can call. And at the end you call build method. This build method will generate the action object. So the action is an interface here. Action is different, actions is different. Action is an interface, actions is a class, okay? So on this object, you call perform method. Perform method will finish all the actions completely successfully. So this is all about theory part and uh, let's go and uh, target.